Hey there, welcome to Coffee with Connie. I'm Connie Fuxa with Foot Title Group, where we protect your home ownership. Thanks so much for taking the time to tune in today, guys. I really appreciate all of your love. And if you find what we're talking about valuable, please hit that share button and share with the people that you know. Because if we're talking about something that maybe interests you, I'm sure it's going to interest some people that are in your circle of friends. So today we're going to talk about some of the documents you might sign at your closing. Because a lot of times that's the piece that people get to the closing table and say, good gosh, I got to sign all this paperwork and I don't have time to review it. I don't even understand what it is. So today we're going to talk just for a few minutes about some of the really hot button documents that you may see. Um, some of the most important things that you will sign at your closing are the note, the deed of trust, your closing disclosure, um, those are the really most important documents you sign. The closing disclosure is the document that has all of the figures on it. It's the one that tells you what it's going to cost today to buy that house and it also has your loan terms on it. So it goes through all the numbers that affect that closing and your the person doing your closing, the closing officer will actually explain all of that to you as they go through each of those documents. But basically the closing disclosure is a representation of all of the numbers, all of the things you've agreed to with purchasing that house. And it includes all of the costs, the sales price, anything, any certifications you had to have done, um, and any of the costs associated with buying that home. The note is the loan document that the lender requires you sign because the note actually is you promising to repay that loan. So the lender's loaning you a whole lot of money. We've talked about this several times and they wanna make sure that that money is very well secure and that they'll get that money back. And so the note is actually like a check. The note is a document you sign that says, I promise to repay this loan. Here are the terms of the loan. Here's what's happening and um, who you owe the money to, how much you owe, what the interest rate is, uh, the exact terms, when the payments are due, how long the payments go for, where you need to make the payments to, the actual details of that loan. And that note is the most important document. With that note, the lender has the ability to sell that loan. Um, that gives them the ability to recuperate that loan and that's your promise to repay. One of the most important documents you sign. The deed of trust is likewise very, very important because that document actually secures the loan against your property. So once you sign that document, it is recorded in the land records where the property is located. So anyone that does a title search can tell that you have a loan, who it's with, um, how much the payment is, and what their requirements are in order to get you to repay that loan. And it is basically you putting your property in trust with the lender for as long as you owe them that money. So you're deeding your property to the lender for the length of the loan, well, the interest in the property. They don't actually own it, they own it with you. It's sort of like your car. When you um, sign a note for your car, if you don't make those payments, they're gonna come take that car away out of your driveway. Uh, similar true, they're not gonna move your house, but they're gonna require you to move out so they can sell it to recuperate the loan and the deed of trust gives them the right to do that. Because they're loaning you a lot of money, they need to make sure that loan is secure and that's how they do it. So the deed of trust actually gives them your property in trust for as long as that property uh, as long as you own money on that property. So <clears throat> some of the most important documents you have there, those are some of the things that you may see at your closing that you're not gonna typically see in advance to be able to ask questions and have discussion about. Um, so because of that, we've created what's called a sample documents book that is actually on our website that gives you not the exact documents that you're going to sign at closing, but very similar. You can actually go through them and read them in advance and ask questions. But please know that the documents that you see there are, may vary a little bit from what you actually see at closing, but it gives you the opportunity to, to read through some stuff because when you're sitting at that closing table, there's a whole lot going on and a whole lot of people there and reviewing those documents sometimes is very 
um, difficult to do and to understand what you're actually doing. But that gives you an idea a little bit about some of the, the most um, important documents that you'll actually sign. And if you want some more information about those, as I said, you can go download that sample documents book on our website, review that information. If you have questions, you can always reach out to anyone on our, on our team. Our website is www.foottitlegroup.com. And if you go on and register on our email list, you'll get our monthly flyer that talks about this month it's talking about things you need to know uh, for your closing and so a lot of helpful things that we try to provide like these broadcasts we also try to give you a lot of information on our website resources so you can answer questions that you have so <clears throat> thank you so much for taking your time to tune in good morning miss pam thank you for tuning in hey lisa one of my uh, very friendly competitors that I have a lot of respect for, Lisa Smallwood, is an amazing uh, title professional that I have a lot of respect for. So thanks so much for taking the time to tune in. Hey there, good morning, Phil. How are you this morning? Thank you guys for tuning in. And as I said, if you find what we talked about valuable, please hit that share button because the people in your circle may have the similar questions. Or if they don't have the question, it may spur a question that they do have. I love answering your questions. I have a lot of content to talk about based on other questions that people have asked. But if you guys come up with a question or something that happens, please share it with me because that means somebody else is going to have that question too and we need to talk about it. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I really appreciate you tuning in to Coffee with Connie. I'm Connie Fuxa with Foot Title Group where we protect your home ownership. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.